Hey guys, welcome back, Dr. Ape here, and today I'll be showing you how to get a guaranteed peat block to evolve Earth Ring into Earth Luna. Let's get straight into it. Right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to come over and talk to Zeke right here. I've done the first mission, so I, it won't let me do it again, but I'll be showing you where to get the first one. So you want to head over to the uh, Mealands, and I'll see you there. All right, so now we're here. I want to put a waypoint right here, just next to the river below Gape Jar Bog, and let's head straight there now. All right, so um, this is where we'll find her, just in front of this tree. Uh, you'll see Wanda, just speak to her, and then after you've done that, we can head back to the Galaxy Headquarters. Let's go. All right, so when you get back, you want to talk to Zeke, hand in the quest, go outside the building, come back in, and then we'll get their next quest, which is going to the coastlands to find Wanda again. So we'll head to the coastlands now, and I'll see you there. All right, so we're at the coastlands, and what we want to do is we want to put a waypoint just below Castaway Shore on this little island here, and then we'll head to that now. All right, so she's just on this island behind the rocks, uh, speak to Wanda, and then you go through some dialogue and then you can head straight back to the galaxy headquarters. All right, so now we're back at the headquarters, we just wanna talk to Zeke again, uh, go through the uh, dialogue, and then we wanna go outside the building and come back in for our next quest. Okay, so this time we'll be going to the Highlands for the next quest, and I'll see you there. Okay, so when we're at the Highlands, we want to head to the mountain camp because it's right next to the mountain camp under Lonely Springs, just there on that cliff. So we're going to head there right now. Alright, so we want to just uh, drop down below this cliff. Make sure you don't fall all the way down. And here's Wanda. And then you'll go through the dialogue and then back to the Galaxy Headquarters for the fourth one. Okay, so we want to speak to Zeke again and get our reward and then go outside the building, come back in and get the next quest. Okay, so this time we're headed into the Obsidian Field Lands, the first area to find Wanda. So let's go get straight into it. Okay, so when we get to the Obsidian Field Lands, we want to go to the Heights Camp because it's just right next to it over here. And let's head there now. Just down at the bottom of this cliff. And round this corner and there she is. This time we'll have to fight uh, three level 50 Parises. Okay, so when we've done that, we just need to do the usual, talk to Wanda, then head back to Zeke in the Galaxy Headquarters. Okay, so when you've uh, turned in the quest, gone outside, come back in, you can accept the final quest. But this time, there's a bit of a twist. Uh, Zeke goes looking for Wanda in the Alabaster Icelands. Instead of us going searching for Wanda. And then she shows up at the bottom of the stairs. So now we've got to go look for Zeke instead. So let's get right to that. Okay, so now we're in Alabaster Iceland. We want to put a waypoint right here, just beneath these trees to the left of Abelug's legacy. So I'm going to fly to Ice Peak Arena. So when you get here, you just want to drop down. You'll take a bit of damage. But uh, then Zeke's just at the bottom. So we need to get Sneasler to carry him back up. But first, we've got to defeat Alpha Glalie. So now we've defeated Alpha Glalie, we just want to explain to him that uh, Wanda was back at headquarters. And then we're back out at the entrance. And then we go through some dialogue and we get an ice stone off Wanda. And then we speak to Zeke and then we get a nice little surprise off Zeke. 
for the uh, completing the mission we get five star pieces and a peat block which we will use to evolve ursa ring into ursa luna so what you want to do now is you want to head back to the uh, village and then come back out and we want to he head to the crimson mealands because that's the only way to evolve ursa ring on this game now what you want to do is go to night time and we can only evolve ursa ring when it's a full moon and by using the peat block on him at Crimson Mailands. Uh, the moon changes every two days, so we can just keep sleeping through the day and nights until it actually works. And a quick way of doing this is by just hovering over your peat block, and if it says incompatible, go to the next day. If it says compatible, then you can evolve him. It's a full moon for two days. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so now we're on a full moon, finally. Um, we can use the peat block on Earth Ring to get uh, Earth Luna. The maximum amount of days you will have to skip is 12 to get the to the full moon. So you'll get it eventually, just keep at it. And here we go. It's the first shiny Earth Luna of the game. He looks so pretty. Nice little crimson colour. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.